Hello, and welcome to the disaster formerly known as my studio. You're gonna have to bear with me here. I am working on a bigger video, and along the way, I have run into issues that I thought kind of deserve their own little snippet of a video, and since the primary video I'm working on is taking longer than expected, I also have to make a video to fill in the gaps. That way I don't feel rushed on the big one. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Jason here with Bite My Bits. Now, if you are watching this video, well, one of two things. Either one, you're unfortunately a subscriber, which I do apologize for that, but two, you've been bashing your head on the closest concrete you could for probably a few hours trying to get Unraid and Plex, new server, rebuilt server, whatever your environment is right now, you're trying to get Plex to allow you to claim your server. You might be running into a common error where it says that you are not authorized to view the server. You do not have access to view the server. I don't know what that was. To speed things along, I'll go ahead and add a chapter down below to start here to fix it or whatever I ended up naming it. If you want to jump directly ahead to that, go right ahead. But I do want to also add a different chapter that is basically going to be the background, like to how I got to the solution and why I'm saying the solutions I'm saying. That way, maybe you can try to align up some of the issues that you've been having and seeing if you're kind of falling into the same issue that I have. Ah, all right. Okay, the background. Why are you here? You are getting one of two things. Either one, you're getting the not authorized screen when you're trying to claim your server. Now, you're doing everything that you think you should. That's accessing the server directly via the IP address, doing all the uh, web address stuff, trying to make sure you're going to the right place, everything. You're doing everything you can, but for some reason, Plex is not allowing you to access your new server. Or two, you are, again, doing everything you can, but for some reason, Plex keeps asking you to set up a new client. Like, hey, what's your new preferred server? What garbage do you want us to throw on top of your stuff? You know, all the garbage you keep on checking, but for some reason we're trying to shove down your throat. Everything you don't want, and the one thing you do want, which is claiming your new server or rebuilt server, is not there. Which, by the way, Plex, can we get like a link to say click here to get out of this loop of hell and forcibly claim your server? Is that an option? I doubt it. I say I doubt it because this has been around for years. This is not my first rodeo, and this time in particular for some reason just felt more difficult. I don't know why. Here's some things that you probably should have tried or have tried, but you're still here. You've probably tried to go in and make sure your allowed networks were set up. You've probably messed with the Plex claim token. You've probably uninstalled and reinstalled Plex from different repositories. You've tried to log out of Plex and then log back in. Maybe you've tried incognito windows. All of these things are very good steps. Steps that I've had to repeat many times until I found a nice mixture of repeatable things that actually for some reason worked. All because, mainly because I, I didn't really want to log out of everything. See, Plex has that nice option of just logging out of everything, like just every device, log out, which is cool if, you know, you're banging your head on the concrete trying to claim a new server, but terrifying if you can't get one freaking server to come up, you don't want to lose the other one and screw up all your other stuff, right? Because I, right now, am building a test Plex Unraid server. The whole point of this being isolated from the rest of the equipment is to not affect the other equipment. So I don't want to go logging everything out. I'm sorry. In the past, Linux IO uh, repository or Linux server repository has been really good. Ben Hex has also been really good. Uh, I've bounced between those. I've actually landed on a different repository, which your mileage may vary. I had different goals here. I mean, first of all, yes, I did want to get my new server claim, but I initially had this goal of, okay, I know 12th gen Intel uh, hardware acceleration works, so I'm pretty sure I should be able to get my new 13900K working, which is what you see on the test bench right now. So my entire goal here is to get that working, set up, get some tests going, and then just kind of see how well it performs before I turn this into my main workstation. In the past, Linux servers repository, that was just kind of my go to thing, but I've also used bin hex. I mean, they have different default variables, but for the most part, if you're adding and removing things, you can pretty much get them to act the same. But that is the trick, making sure certain variables exist and making sure you're doing everything in the right order before you start your Plex Media server. And that is where I'm going to start this out, how to claim or reclaim a new Plex Unraid server. Full disclosure, I took a lot of different steps here and 
ultimately in the end was able to achieve my goal and recreate this achievement. So I'm laying this out for you here today. There are gonna be a couple things in here that I'm not gonna stand 100% behind that you have to do, but if you don't do everything I do and it doesn't work for you, then it's possible you need to do everything I do, if that makes sense. It will here in a little bit. All right, so first step, let's say you're on your workstation, you're working through all this, you're trying to get your new server claimed. The first thing you wanna do is go into a new private window or a new incognito window of your browser. This could very well be something you're gonna to have to go into and then close out to clear everything and then go back into a couple different times. When you get into the incognito mode, I'm just gonna call it privacy mode. When you get into this mode, you're gonna to wanna to log into your new Unraid server. So go to the IP address directly, type in your credentials and log in. Now, if you already have Plex installed, it's really just gonna be best to delete that. I know that might suck if you're trying to carry over some of your stuff, like uh, generated thumbnails or things like that, but I would imagine if you have all that backup stuff already, then you can copy those specific files and folders over after you get this server, this new server, reclaimed server, actually claimed. So completely remove any Docker containers that you have from Plex, no matter what repository you got them from, just delete them, get rid of the image, everything. We're just wiping everything. We're gonna start anew. Now go to your community apps page, which if you don't have community apps for Unraid, I don't know what's wrong with you. Search for Plex. And from here, you're gonna get a few different options. In this case, in my tutorial today, I ended up landing on the Hoshido, Hoshio, the Hoshio repository. Am I saying that right? Now you're gonna have a few variables in here that you're gonna have to configure yourself, which is just the normal setting up Plex. However, there are gonna be a few things that you have to either make sure they are there and edit them correctly or add them specifically. The first variable here, which I'm pretty sure is default, is going to be allowed underscore networks. Uh, now this is a new variable, so if you have to add this, and I'm gonna define this and tell you what you have to put in there, and this is what this means. If you have to add a new variable or whatever, it's gonna pop up a window. For example, if you see this right now and you click edit, it's gonna pop up a window. The type is going to be a variable. Both the name and the key are both going to be all in all caps, allowed underscore networks. Now the value here is going to be your subnet. You don't wanna forget this step. You don't wanna ignore it. You want to make sure to add your own subnet. Now I actually did not add the subnet mask. Um, that slash 24 at the end. So I just put just a zero for the, you know, the end. Um, and it worked for me. But I, you may need to use the subnet mask sl uh, slash 24. I personally just put in my subnet with the zero as the last number and it worked for me. So if you are editing this variable or if you're manually adding this variable to either this repository or a different repository, uh, you want to go ahead and make sure that the allowed networks is both the name and the key. And then you want to set your value and save it. If you're just on the repository screen, then you just want to fill out your subnet at the screen and then move along. Then we're going to look for something called Plex underscore pass, and this is going to have an option of either a yes or a no. If you don't see this, then you probably wanna add it in. So again, you're gonna add another variable, which it will actually be a variable. You're gonna type in Plex underscore pass for both the name and the key. And then for the value of this, you will either type in yes or no, in lowercase if that matters. I don't know if this is required to get your server to claim, so this is kind of one of those lower priority things, but I would just fill it out get it set up. It's gonna come in really handy if you're trying to use something like hardware accelerated transcoding. And then the last one is going to be the most important one, which is going to be the Plex underscore claim variable. If you don't see this in there, that's fine. Again, you can add another one. Scroll down to the bottom, click on add new variable. It's an actual variable from the dropdown. Both the name and the key are going to be Plex, all caps, underscore claim. And then for the value, this is where you want to make sure you're kind of ready to go before you go any further. Okay, look at me. Once you do this, there's no turning back. Okay, you're full sin in it. You're yeeting yourself off the edge. So just get ready. Okay, it's not that intense, but just get ready. Go ahead and take a second to scroll through everything else in your settings. That means any kind of media allocation, like, you know, where are your movies, where are your TVs, whatever else you're adding to this re repository, whatever you need to add that you want to make sure is good, just make sure everything's good. Side note, I was running into a weird loop thing where I deleted managed users, right? Because every time you log in, it's like, what user are you? So I found that for some reason to kick me back more. So I deleted that, but I cannot verify that's part of getting things to work. I did want to mention it before we move forward because that is a step that I took just because I was seeing the way it was loop, but 
I don't know if it's required. And then when you think you're good and ready to actually scroll down to the bottom and then save this and launch the new container, then we're gonna do this Plex claim thing. This Plex claim thing allows you to go to a Plex claim website, log into Plex and claim, gets you a little token that will claim this new server. That in combination with your allowed subnet should, hypothetically, if everything works today, should allow you to claim your new server rather than be told you're not authorized and or get looped into a new client screen. So go ahead and open up a new tab in your privacy window and we're gonna to go to plex.tv slash claim and it should ask you to log in. Once you log in, you're gonna be greeted with a screen. It's gonna be a token. It's gonna to say claim, you know, dash or underscore and it's gonna have just a string of text. Once you have this claim token copied in full to your clipboard, go back to your new Docker container setup screen and in that little variable option there where you're setting the value for your, your Plex claim token, Go ahead and paste that in right there. Now, if you scroll down to the bottom and click on save, this will deploy this new Docker container. And if all goes well, you will stop bashing your head on the concrete, hopefully. Now you can't try to claim this server from the plex.tv web interface. Instead, you wanna see the main part of your Unraid screen, like the actual main dashboard. You're gonna see your new Plex Docker container on the dashboard, and if all goes well, it should be running. I know you wanna go into the web eye right now, but instead go into the logs of this new container. Look at the logs. What does it say? Does it say, hey, claiming now complete or claiming successful? The server already claimed. What error messages are you getting? What you should be looking for is reaching out to Plex, claiming server, claiming successful, something around that line. If you see this server has already been claimed, then just go ahead and stop the container, delete everything and start fresh because it's probably not going to work. But if you see pulling new token or verifying or success, like you see some really good encouraging words in there, then we move forward. While still logged into your Unraid through the privacy window and everything, we're gonna to go to that dashboard, we're gonna click on the new Plex container. From the drop down, you're gonna see Web UI. Go ahead and click on that. Now this is very important because it is accessing your server from the local area network. It's accessing it directly. You don't wanna to go to Plex.tv and say, hey, I have a new server because you're never gonna find it. You have to access this directly to have the best chance of this ever working. If all goes well, it should say, setting up your new, your new server. You should be greeted with a screen that says, let's give this thing a name. Let's assign some libraries. If it doesn't, well, I'm really, really sorry, but if it doesn't, I mentioned before about the managed users thing. This was something that I noticed just because I would have to log in. I would then go through picking a managed user, which would be my, low, my uh, administration account. And then I felt like all of that looping around in the login screen, I felt like it was throwing it off. So I ended up just deleting managed users because they're only for testing any, anyways. You may or may not have to do that. That really kind of sucks if you actually use those in a configured way. So. I want to dive into that right away. Instead, if this didn't work or maybe that screen popped up, said the server was already claimed or whatever, I would probably just completely backtrack, stop the container, delete everything, delete the image, and I would either A, set your app data to a share within Unraid, which is kind of like my easy way of going in there and deleting things. If you go create a new share for app data, it allows you to access the app data over the network, which allows you just to go directly to whatever container folder they created and delete everything. Or B, you can go through SSH or through the console or whatever you wanna to do to manually go in and delete all of the information related to Plex and this Docker container that you just tried. It's a little extreme, but walking you through how to go to the preferences.xml and manually configure things, especially with the whole Plex claim token, this is where stuff gets weird. The, the claim token has a four minute cooldown. If you try to register it and you do something else and it takes longer than this time, and it, it's just a ginormous pain in the ass. So the easiest way is to nuke everything and start fresh, which sucks. Hopefully though, if you do have backups of your metadata, you can copy all of that over after you get authorized into your server. So go back, delete everything, close this privacy window, and start fresh with the new privacy window. And that's really the best I can give you because this may or may not work. There's really no guarantee. This just happened to work for me. I recreated it one more time and I spent a long time getting it to work, spent a little time verifying that it worked and recreatable. But once you're kind of verified in, it's like, if it works again, do you know you did it right two times in a row? Or do you know that Plex just recognized your machine identifier and said, yeah, no, you're good. Make sense? This is a brand new PC, brand new Unraid install, brand new.
it's not replacing any server. I legitimately needed to claim a new server to make it into a new test bench server. Unfortunately, doing this was just a lot easier to say than it was to do. Well guys, hopefully you found this useful. Don't worry, uh, I do wanna make another video that's gonna be a little bit more SEO friendly that's gonna touch base on the 1300 or the 13th gen Intel iGPU hardware accelerated transcoding, getting that enabled and getting that working. So stay tuned for that. It will definitely not be six days or however long it's been since I've made a video. So uh, if you have any questions, comments, make sure to leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you as always, like and subscribe and have yourself a great day. And if you have absolutely no idea what the subnet is, that's okay, figure it out. I'm just kidding, a subnet is literally a sub-network of your computers that views the internet as a whole, as a group. Hit search, type in CMD, bring up the command window, type in IP config, and then it should scroll through your network interface connections and you should see